Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. My name is Andrea with Foodimentary Adventures in Food. And I am here today with the recipe for chest bars. If you've ever had buttermilk pie, that's kind of what chest bars are. It's like a buttermilk pie in bar form. It is so good and easy to make. You are going to need some cake mix. You're gonna need some yellow cake mix or golden cake mix. You're gonna need some cream cheese and it is at room temperature, as are my eggs and butter, everything at room temperature. You're also going to need some powdered sugar. So if you wanna see how this simple dessert comes together, stay tuned. So we're gonna start on the cake mix um, portion of the bar. This is gonna be our crust. So I've got one egg in my bowl. I'm gonna add my cake mix. Let me just open it real quick. Pour in my cake mix. And then I am going to add a stick of melted butter. I just pop this in the microwave and it is unsalted butter. I'll make sure to leave the recipe in the description box so you guys will have the exact measurements. And you're just gonna stir it until it is well combined. So I've got my cake mix all combined and now I have a greased jelly roll pan in front of me. I just greased it uh, down with a little bit of butter. And so what you're gonna do is put your crust in and then just spread it out, pat it out, make it even. Um, I know that some people use a nine by 13 pan and that's fine if that's what you got. Um, but if you have a jelly roll pan, which is basically kind of like a cookie sheet, but with edges, with high edges or sides all the way around it. Um, if you don't have a jelly roll pan, that's fine. A nine by 13 will do. Um, if you're gonna use a nine by 13, since it's a little bit deeper than this pan, I would probably use some parchment paper in order to make it easier to get your bars out of the pan. But you're just gonna pat this out and spread it all around. All right, so I've got my crust all patted down. So next I'm gonna work on the filling. So I've got my softened cream cheese in the bowl and I'm just gonna whip this with a, for a little bit with the hand mixer. And I'm gonna add in my two room temperature eggs. And I'm going to add in my powdered sugar. I'm gonna add in half and then I'll add in the rest. So here's the mixture, and I'm just gonna pour this over my cake batter crust. Here it is. Just gonna pour this over. All right, so here it is. It's ready to go into the oven. I have my oven preheated to 350 degrees. I'm gonna bake this for about 35 minutes or until it is um, has a nice light brown color. I just took the bars out of the oven and you can see that they are a pretty golden brown and they've started to crackle, which is exactly what they're supposed to look like. I am going to let these cool completely and then I'll bring you back so I can cut them and you guys can see what they look like. So here are the chest bars. I let these cool completely. I guess it took about three hours or so. And as you can see, it has that nice crackly top that I mentioned earlier. And um, so here is the inside. There it is. It's like, it's like a nice custard type feeling. And you can see that the crust is completely done. And here they are on the plate. Just 
another angle for you guys. So I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did, please make sure to give us a thumbs up. And if you have not subscribed to our channel, I certainly hope you'll do so. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you guys next time.